Okay, let's do this. channel I'm gonna bring that desk up a little higher there we go uh, so welcome to the channel I'm Eric and I am your your editor here on uh, on the checker liar pictures uh, YouTube page so what we're gonna be doing tonight is we're doing some video editing which we haven't done in a little while we've been doing some photos so tonight uh, photos for the last couple weeks months it's been a while anyway we're doing video editing tonight and tonight we are doing something a little different we're not uh, we're not so much doing um, we're not doing fiction. We're doing a non-fiction. We're doing a real estate video for a client of mine. They uh, they've hired me to put together a a video on this this local shore town, uh, just kind of about the you know the various features of the town, the cool things that happen in it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be gonna be doing, kind of to give you know give people an idea of what what it's like to live there. Uh, which basically means for you guys, we're watching a bunch of drone footage and uh, putting a bunch of beauty shots together, which it makes this kind of interesting because it's uh, we're still doing, in some ways, story construction, but we're not so much talking character, uh, or, like, acting, or, like, um, yeah, plot delivery, we're, t we're, we're going a little more on just informational, and also trying to tie that into emotion, so, that's what we're doing, um, with a, kind of a big handicap that we don't have the music for this video yet, so, <laughs> that's one of our, like, we're, yeah, we've uh, we've lost one of our emotional legs, so we're gonna do it visually first, and then cut to music later as we uh, as we choose the the score for this project. But anyway, uh, a second of background on me: uh, I've been editing for 15 plus years. I've been I've worked in uh, worked in film production from fiction to television to web series to nonfiction. Uh, Studied in studied in Boston, lived in Europe for a little while, lived in Los Angeles, and now living on the East Coast, putting uh, working doing some freelance stuff. So that's where I'm coming from, and the reason I do this uh, on stream is because a I it gives me a chance to kind of share my work, which is a thing that I personally struggle with. So it's a it's a little it's you know a little bit of good practice there. Um, it's also a chance for me to. Uh, like to pull the curtain back on editing as much as I'm much as I'm able. Editing I find tends to be the sort of forgotten aspect of the film industry in just in terms of publicity, in terms of what people know about it. Uh, you know, it's easy to talk cameras and talk lights and oh look at this big stunt we did and look at this big setup and whatever. But you tend to you don't always get the stuff uh, from from editing because it tends to be they go away with the footage and they come back and they've created something. So that's what, that's what I do this for, uh, as well as to any potential filmmakers, potential clients, uh, or potential or editors out there, um, who or potential filmmakers and clients who might not be familiar with the editing process. I do this for you, so you get a kind of if you're not if you're not uh, familiar with how with what how much work goes into editing, what all the piecing together is, and why editing takes as long as it does and costs as much as it does. Uh, I do this for you there, and to editors who might be watching, um, if uh, my kind of pipe dream goal for this is that uh, you, in some way, feel validated for the amount of work that you do. Uh, you're not slow, you're not bad at your job, um, and you deserve to charge the rate that you're worth. Because, again, editing being one of those things that's not as flashy, it also tends to be one of those things that gets really undervalued uh, when you are talking to clients. Uh, so, yeah. So let's uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Enough of me. Uh, of just just me. Let's jump into Premiere here. Okay, so here's here's a drone shot. This is actually the first shot I filmed for this whole project, and, I'm, and I'm, I've looked at it. And I'm like, yeah, this is pretty much gonna be my opening shot, more or less, my first shot of the town, anyway. But here's what we've got so far. Um, let's do a real quick save. Uh, there we go. Make sure we're saving the project. Okay, so what I've done is I've got my little intro over here uh, with our with our realtor, it's Lisa. Uh, haven't done any color grading. There's a lot of color grading left. This is going to look a whole lot better once color grading becomes a thing. But I like the shot. I like the lighting. I like the composition of it. So that'll work. Um, and she's got fantastic energy. This audio you see down here, uh, which let me just make sure you can hear it. Three. Yeah, you guys can hear that. That's how I see levels. Um, this is her narration. We're talking through all the different, yeah, you know, that I've blocked off into different chunks of the town. 
or different chunks of the the video d discussing different parts of the town. Um, one of the things I was doing prior to starting the stream, what I've been working on for the past couple hours, was taking several takes of narration, kind of separating out each individual section, putting all the similar sections together, and then listening to them all the way through, uh, so that, let's see, yep, cool, uh, and then listening to them all the way through, so I could kind of pick, uh, pick and choose. And this is another thing that if you're, if you're not, if you haven't spent a lot of time in an editing suite. Uh, you might not be aware of is that a lot of the t a lot of this stuff and this happens regularly on any project doesn't necessarily mean doesn't necessarily have to be nonfiction, um, and especially with stuff that's voiceover, a lot of this is you know single sentences from different takes co uh, cobbled together to sound to try to sound natural, try to pick out the best parts of everything. Cool. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to these are all connected. I need to. I've got four tracks of audio here. Basically what this is, is top track is the boom. Second track is the lav, so the mic that was on her. Uh, the third and fourth tracks are the same thing, boom and lav, but they're a little bit lower. They're a little bit, they're designed a little more to protect the high parts and also to kind of avoid the, avoid the like lower room tone buzz that you get. And so what I've done is I'm using the lav track from tracks one and two, which is kind of the stronger, clearer lav. Uh, and then the boom track from three and four to kind of give me a little more, little more, little more ambience and sound a little bit less, less like give it a little bit. I find I find boom audio a lot of the time, especially compa um, in something like this where you want to feel like you're talking to somebody uh, to be uh, to be. Able, I find I find it to be a little bit comforting just to have as an undertone there. And I'm gonna ba I'll, I'm gonna do a mix of these later just in terms of uh, you know volume level, which one we hear more of in a way. But it's all the same audio. So what first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete. The two tracks I'm not using, this top top and bottom ones. You see the S's over here means solo. So I was only listening to those two, and now I can turn those off. Let's save the project because it's a Premiere file, and you have to save it at all times. So, got my intro here. Yeah. Where she says... Each town. Come join me. All right, cool. So same deal. I'm going to take these. I'm going to drop these down to track two and three, just so I can keep them all together. Uh, probably not going to have much on track one. Track one's probably going to be... Uh, I'm just going to keep that empty in the case I need it. Eventually, I'll move everything up. Potentially. But And then I'm eventually going to do, do, use my track mixer here. Uh, See, so I've already turned one, already turned track three audio down. 1923. To serve as an... Just give it a nice mix. Okay, just give it a basic mix. If I bring, uh, if I bring this back up... Ideal spot for summertime recreation in conjunction with the... Eh, doesn't really make a difference. I'm going to keep it. I'll keep it down because I put it down before. Uh... And again, not my final mix. Anyway, not the point. So we've got her. I'm gonna go across the river and check out some of our. Got her clip. That's good. Um, and now we gotta work on moving into this. And what I'm gonna do. This is in, this town is interesting. Usually, um, you know. So what I what I do is I go out with. You know, I get hired to do one of these projects, and, I, and I'll get either I'll have her the script she's gonna use, so I know what things she really wants me to highlight, or I will go into. Or, or she'll at least give me a list of things. Uh, I say she because I've done a lot of videos with Lisa, but this is this would be true for any client. Um, or I get a list of, like, yeah, you know, hit hit these landmarks, hit these spots, uh, and so I go film a bunch of stuff, and now and then now that we've got this audio, I start trying to piece it together. But the interesting thing about Shark River Hills, which if I, I don't think I said it yet, that's the name of the town we're working on. Um, Come join me. Um, is that in one of the restaurants that I'm gonna that uh. That, actually, honestly, this town's only restaurant. This town literally is this big. It's like like that bridge. You can kind of see way over there. Come around the shore and over to there. That's the whole town. This is yeah, the whole thing. There's one restaurant in this town, uh, <laughs> and it's pretty cool. But they have this map on the wall. That's a hand drawn map from I think yeah I think it's 1984 down there. Um, kind of covering the whole area. So that's going to be my framing device for a lot of this. Anytime we start a section, we're going to go to a map shot. Which makes this pretty easy. So here we go. I'm gonna put some audio there. I'm gonna start with start with this clip. And Welcome to Shark River Hills in Neptune, New Jersey. This lovely community originated as a summer resort development in 1923 to serve as. I'm definitely gonna put something here. Some kind of transition. That's still that's still a work in progress. Jersey. This lovely community originated. 
I don't need that much. I'm going to put this up here so I kind of get an idea of where I want to start switching over. This lovely community originated as a summer resort development in 1923 to serve as an ideal spot for summertime recreation in conjunction with the Great Shore Towns just a short jaunt away. There we go. I may speed this shot up a little bit. I kind of like having a this slow intro. Usually I would do a whole lot of other stuff, but the fact that I can get this whole town in a single shot uh, from the sky is honestly I really love. And so thank you, Premier. Um, so I may just stay with this for a bit. And a lot of these cuts are going to be dictated by... It's just a short jaunt away. Uh, are going to be dictated by the pace of the music. Actually, <laughs> yep. I probably am going to speed that up, but we'll come back to that. Right, right now, what, tonight, what is tonight is about is not a final product, but it's kind of basic assembly. Next section. Nestled within 600 acres of tree-covered hills and three and a half miles of waterfront property, you will find this lovely enclave of homes rich with history. Okay. So that is, that's not a specific area. That is just, uh, that's just uh, stuff about the town. So let's take a look at our workroom of footage here and see what we have that we like there. And this is what I'm probably going to do. I'm going to kind of scroll through a lot of these shots real fast just to kind of pick out my favorites. Um, that's a good one. Needs a little flattening. I think my, my lens was a little bit the GoPro-ish there. Uh, there's actually, I know there's a shot here that I really like that's kind of a big circle. We've already sort of done the from the air thing. We got, we got the shot from the water, but I'm probably going to use that as a... I'm, sp I'm flying through this. And I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to speed this shot up, but... Um, I'm probably going to use this as a as an ending shot. Also, maybe a shot pulling back if I can if I can avoid those birds. Not sure the bird almost hit the drone. Let's watch that. Whoa! Dive. Seagulls, you guys are adorable little bastards. So yeah, I might do this shot starting here and just having it fly backwards. So that that might be an ending shot. I'm going to move that up up a level. I'm gonna put that higher up. So second, second, or so first tra main track is everything. Second track is opening shot. Uh, top is third track up is ending shot, potentially. There's another one's kind of a pullback. That's all right. Let's see. Okay, this is an arch. This is a. This is a good one for just showcasing some of the, some of the architecture of the town. Getting a leaning into that line about the shoreline and the waterfront property. That's not a bad shot to use. I think I, I think I did one where I kind of went around the corner. Let's see if I can see if I've got that. <laughs> the only thing I don't love about a lot of this, uh, yeah, it's probably this shot. Um, the only thing I don't love, this skipping on stream. I think it's. I'm not sure if it's. It's going pretty clean for me on here, but I think I'm gonna be skipping online. Um, let's see. I actually managed to pull off this corner. I don't think. Oh, maybe. Nope. Nope, that was a rough turn. All right, now we'll see if we use it. There's the yacht club. So we talk about the shoreline a bit. No, this is this is this is the boat I was harassing. Uh, they were very confused. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, I know the shot I'm looking for. Where is it? It's not that. It's is it this one. I think it's probably this one. This one goes on for. Yeah, there we go. Because this is a full. Circle. Let's save. That one, is it this one? No, oh, it might have been this one actually. It's doing that. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it's not skipping. It's got some nice lens flares on this one. This one might be the one to use. Just to kind of. Yeah, that's probably the shot to use. Okay, so we're going to copy that into my rough cut. I don't have... Oh, because the first one's footage. Okay. And we're just going to paste. Alright, so I know... Just pull this away from so I'm not able to listen to the audio as I check this one out. I'll see going right past that tree. From the tree to that lens flare. So right about there is pretty great. 
Uh, usually, I feel a lot of my a lot of times the instinct on this is to do a lot of quick cuts just to make it seem cool and fun. But I think the fact that this whole town is just so capturable might be just stick with this. Nestled within 600 acres of tree-covered hills and three and a half miles of waterfront property, you will find this lovely enclave of homes rich with history. Rich with history. acres of tree-covered hills and three and a half miles of waterfront property, you will find this lovely enclave of homes rich with history. This is kind of a rough just kind of idea of what this is going to look and sound like. Let me see what I've got. It's another good shot of the shoreline. That's coming back. It's coming the other direction. Okay, so this is the... Okay, that, yeah, that, I know I'm going to use that shot. That's a beach town shot. Uh, this is how we talk about parks, because I know I pull back through this gazebo, which is pretty cool. That shot actually came out really, really well. I forgot how good that shot. I forgot, how, but <laughs> I was stressed as hell trying to pull this shot off. I know I'm going to do some digital work on this to really lean into pulling back through the gazebo, but man, that shot was stressing me the hell out. Uh, this is the one we just looked at, I think. Yeah, this is the one we just looked at. Uh, American flags, which I tend to overuse in these things, just because they're there. I know I've already got, I know I've already got two American flag shots, like in my footage that I may or may not use. That's that big circle. I've already got a circling shot. Let's look at a. So we could do. I know my inst I know my instinct. My instinct is saying. Uh, in just instinct is saying pan along the shoreline. That turn wasn't too bad. I don't think. Let's watch it at speed. Let's watch it sped up, actually, because I know I'm going to be speeding this sh these shots up. That's more about the yacht club. Let's look at these. Got a couple good shots of the shoreline here. Like we're pulling back from the shoreline. This is. What's this one? This one's. I don't even know what that shot's doing. Yeah, I think this would be a shot to use. Let's copy this over. And paste. This is the one downside to Shark. I don't know if I, I don't know if I said this or not, but this is like the one down. I don't think I did. The downside to Shark River Hills is, I absolutely. I think this town is adorable. I love the architecture. It's so cool that it's like it's all this inside of it is a is this gorgeous little maze of of cute little roads and all the houses are interesting and they've been. We're gonna talk about this later, but the, all the houses have been built in. Uh, built at different times, so they've got a whole. So there, there's there's very few like cookie cutter homes. It's all pretty unique. Um, but the one thing, the one thing I don't like about this town is, uh, that the shoreline, despite how cool it is to just have this and the fact that you can go and like, you know, just put in kayaks and stuff anywhere you want. You got the boat club and stuff and you're right on the water and the water's right there. And it's the, like, you know, you can swim in that if you want to. Um, the one thing that I can't, that I don't like about it is that that shoreline is not pretty, which, you know, doesn't actually matter if you're living there, but matters if I'm trying to show it off. Which with his... So maybe we'll see if the shot ends up staying in the video. But that is going way too slow, so let's speed that up. Let's take it to 200 percent. Nope, not not 2,000, 200. Three. Gonna trim this bit here a little bit, just so. Lovely enclave of homes, rich with history. Cool, and this will be. Again, once I have the music, I'm cutting around. Right now, I'm just trying to find more or less the shots that I want to use. Yeah, how far does that go before I start actually turning? Right there. 
that's where you feel that turn. Let's keep that, because I do kind of like being able to see kind of down the other side of river si of Riverfront Drive. Fog and... There. Cool. So I got a couple good shots there. Those will kind of cover my my intro, and then if I need to use, if I need to bring in some, uh, uh, bring in some extra shots that I've got later, I'll, I'll do that. What I'm, what I'm, what I try to do uh, in terms of putting this together is, there's a couple shots where I'm like, all right, I know where this is going. Like this one, uh, I know, I knew this was a starting shot. Um, like this shot here, we're gonna go ahead and copy that and put that in as an ending shot because I know it's gonna be at the end. Like, it's, it's too cool of a shot not to use, but it's it's also an overview shot, so those kind of live at the beginning of the end, and I've already got my beginning shot, so. Oh, wrong one. Back to here. Copy that, and paste. There we go. So I might start this one here. Pass that boat. Speed duration and reverse. So now this one will play like this. Theoretically. Yeah, so we'll pull back from across the water. Yeah, it might have some text fly in there as well. You have Shark River Hills up in the sky or something. That seems like a good clue. I'm actually wondering now, could I do that? All right, please hold. I want to try something. Uh, we're going to duplicate this. Uh, okay, how hard is this going to be? Try and pull this move off. All right. Um, so what I want to do is we're going to go to effects. We're going to go to key. We're going to use a. I'm going to try using a luma key to start. That might be, I might be overthinking this. But let's try it this way. With the Luma key here. Actually, that's not what I want. Let's let's try. Let's do a do a color key. This is almost definitely not going to work. We're going to try it anyway. Okay. Pierce the tolerant. Ooh, this actually might work. No. Good. That actually works. Okay. So we're going to do that. I'm going to feather the edge a little bit. Um. And then I'm gonna do a I can actually do I can I can do a mask on this key, which is kind of great. So that I can just let's view this at 10%. If you are a fan of Photoshop, this is a similar technique. Just doing layer masks. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking at the looking at the, the big screen to see if I'm getting this right. That's pretty good. Oop, a little far. Let's get back up. Yeah, right there looks perfect. Let's bring this last corner over. Up a little bit. Down a little bit. Right there. Cool. Excellent. So now we have the water and the... Uh, yes, now we have the water and the shoreline, but we don't have the sky. That's good. All right, cool. Let's bring this back to fit. Cool. We're going to click off of that. So now, yeah, we've got this move here. Looks like that. That looks pretty good. I should have, yeah, looks, I can live with that for now. Um, and then if I went to this actually might, if this looks as good as I think it might, I might stick with this. So now we're going to, now we're going to drop in some text. We're just going to do our right, first step one. I'm going to make this text big. Take, make this text as long as I can, or as the same length as the video. Go to our text bit here, and we're going to type in Shark River Hills. Cool. Let me quickly save this and switch over to gra Oh, hush. We're going to switch over to graphics. Which I know is going to make things skip. Premiere, you are very noisy. Alright, so now we're going to edit. Work on that. Let's take. I, I'm not sure what font I'm going to use for this, but I know if I if I pull off if I'm going to pull off this move, I know I need something blocky. So let's just, as an example, let's grab this folk one. That seems cool. It's kind of a 
Okay, it's kind of a shitty comic sans, but we're going to live with it for now. Um, we're going to make it bigger. You know, we're going to center this. That's better. And we're going to center again. Now we're going to make it smaller. That's what I want to do. I want to, ch I want to change my uniform scaling. Nope, that stays at 100%. This one goes up. Go big like that. That's a bit much. Something like that as a rough idea. Cool. So we're going to move this up so it's. Yeah. Perfect. Put it there. change the text color to black, which will, of course, make it disappear for now, except for that little bit that's kind of just under the thing. And I'm going to drop this down in here, and I'm going to turn video one back on, and what we're going to get is that, where it now looks like it's behind the text, or behind the sit town. And if I, if I let this play, yeah, that actually looks really kind of dope. I really can't hate on that almost at all. I love that. Okay, cool. One other adjustment. I got. Alright, I got to adjust the feathering here. If I set this to zero, what happens? It's a little harsh. Okay, let's set, let's set that to uh, eight. Actually, edge thinning it might be the trick. There we go. That's better. Can I set this back to zero now? Yeah, there it is. A couple of small bits to worry about, but that, that looks pretty fucking good. Cool. Yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna be an ending moment. Uh, whether that's the actual font or anything, I go with. I should really like it. I really like that font just as a random grab. And this is the thing, I you know something that this font is called uh, folk, uh, which is my one of the things that's uh, quickly save and switch this back to my main editing workspace. Um, one of the things Lisa and I talked about was like, our what's the one of the things I always, that we kind of start off talking about with all these projects is, um, what's the what's the feeling? What's the energy we're going for? Like, what do you want? Just vibe wise, what do you want people to think of when they think of the town? Um, and I'm dreading the day she has me do something. She has me do a city, uh, because that's more than likely going to be a more of a fast-paced edit, as opposed to what I, you know, I kind of enjoy these, uh, like these longer, like these slow, these slower drone shots that just kind of, you know, that you can kind of take in on their own, as opposed to wanting wanting that quick pace. Um, but one of the things that I asked her, like, all right, music-wise, feel-wise, what's what's the most important thing to you about Shark River Hills? And she said, laid back. So. Uh, that font, so a font called Folk that kind of leans into, that kind of has that kind of, you know, big and you know definitely, you know definitely there, but also still kind of kind of chill, chill energy to it that feels not handwritten but almost like almost like you wrote it with a with a like someone talented with a sharpie did it. Uh, that's actually a pretty good choice. Also, wow, I got this sizing perfect because it's if you look at the margins here, like these these two teal lines are the Kind of the like you know definitely safe and then probably safe margins for I mean this is this is assuming is going back to the days of television broadcast where you know you, the assumption was the edge of the screen would cut something off and not really a problem online but the fact that the the s's are both right between those lines tells me I got that sizing perfect okay a little bit of little per, bit of personal pride and we're gonna move on all right. Shake off the legs a little bit. I'm sure if anybody was actually like in the room with me, I'm, I look like a you know like a dog with an itch. Ah, here we go. Moving on. Okay, cool. So we like that shot. Why is my phone vibrating? I really need to turn off. Stop letting Instagram just tell me when people it thinks I know are on Instagram. 
All right, so the next part is this. The homes here have been developed at different times, so you will find a mix of all different kinds of architecture, from capes and ranches to by levels, split levels, and some more modern build outs. All right, well, that makes that's easy. That's that's an architecture bit. All right. Let's take a look at, let's take, so I, I grabbed a bunch of map shots. Let's look at those real quick. Just to, let, me, let me place those before I do anything else. Uh, this editing might actually end up getting a lot faster for these guys because I do want to include them, but I also want to include footage. All right, what do we got? So this first one is Belmar. Okay, so we talk about beach towns later on, so we're going to lock lock that in. This one is Belmar as well. Two takes. Let's, let's, all right, let's, com let's compare. Use both Belmar. Pull them away. Let's watch them. Realizing that I'm not going to be using more than just... Okay, that landing's not bad. Let's look at this one. Yep, I like the speed. Second, second one. Cool. Pulled out. Next. Avon. Good. Did I do that twice? No. But we talk, But I know I talk about Avon and Bradley Beach. So let's pull those over here. Belmar. We're at the beach. Cool. And those are shots that will be uh, recut and edited to the to the time of as to, to Lisa's dialogue and to the the music. What's this? Neptune City. We didn't really. That's not really. We don't really talk about that one. All right, that one's gonna stay there for now. Next. The marina. Okay. Yep. Probably gonna talk about the shoreline. That might be worth keeping. The Yacht Club, I know we mentioned that. Okay, let's see. Neptune City can go away for now. The Yacht Club, I know we mentioned. Uh, there's a couple spots where Marina could go. We'll come back to that. Let's keep watching this one. <laughs> Musquash Cove. I am determined to work this in somewhere just because nobody uses the fucking word musquash anymore, and I think that's funny. Um, for reference, a musquash is uh, an old word for muskrat. Um which uh, we all know is the uh, the full name of the full surname of the uh, like fuckwit who runs Tesla. So though I don't know, we've never it hasn't it's never confirmed that it's not Musquash. Maybe that's no, because Muskrat's got the K. But then again, who knows? He's an immigrant. He might have changed it to a K. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying that Elon Musk is really an elongated Musquash who changed his name so no one would notice. I'm just saying, look at his behavior. Uh, anyway, so Musquash Cove, and I mean, that bridge is actually important. We got a lot of footage of that bridge, so we're going to come back to that. So maybe that's the time to use it. What do we got next? The school. Okay, we, I, know we're, I know we're talking about the school. So this is the actual river. Cool. And this is the golf course. Okay. So this is going over here. No, that, that's the yacht club. This is going over here, because I'm not sure if we're going to use it. Golf course as well. I think we mentioned we mentioned the golf course. I think at some point, uh, and then the grade school. Okay, cool. So that's what we got. Grade school, yacht club, other areas, and then marina, musquash, shark river, and the golf course. Cool. All right. Now this could the shark river bit could be an interesting transition. What if I play that in reverse? What does that look like if I played it in reverse? Let's uh, let's look at this. Let's play it. It actually works. Okay, we're gonna use that. All right, so because now we can more or less transition from. Cut about that much off of this. Probably more later. Uh, but now we can trans like transition from we are at that spot to like that's that literally that's in the same spot where the drone is. Uh, if you know, you know. Uh, let's bring this a little more off. I don't think we need like I don't know, usual usual rules for for uh, for text on screen are make sure it's there. Uh, long enough for you to read it twice because you know how long it's supposed to be 
but I think that does. All right, so there we go. We use all right. So, ooh, I got an idea. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna let that fly in, and I'm gonna use that as a fade to this shot. Which is something I wanted to do with the map, and that's why I got a couple drone shots from above like this, so that I can make those fades work. So we're gonna paste. Okay, this looks a little weird, so let's speed this up. Uh, I'll try 200%. 200 is usually a good starting point with me with the drone. Alright, I gotta fix the distortion. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Do you have distortion for. You don't. Do you have distortion for the. You have for the Inspire and for the Phantom. Really, you don't. You didn't put a package together for uh, uh, for the Mavic, but I guess it's old enough. All right, real quick, let's check our sequence settings. What am I? Am I at 30? I'm at 38. Okay, so if I drop this in, was that? Okay, that's not as bad. I guess I can also just adjust this. Yeah. Let me go the other. Oh, you can really. Oh man, that fucks in the other way. That's kind of cool though. That's trippy as hell. I'm I'm a fan of that. All right, let's reset this. Let's see, I believe it was negative three. That helps it's a little bit too much. Let's bring that to negative five. Uh, what's the vertical dissection? Okay, that's. The homes here have been. Cut the beginning of this so that we start off moving. This stuff is a little bit like we're. A little bit of distortion, not too much. Negative 10. The so this is one of those things that I think, like. Homes here have been. Like, I think this is one of those things that I'm gonna notice, or I'm like, it's you know, I know it because I'm seeing the difference between, you know, with and without the effect. Uh. Developed at different times. But I think once we, once I actually. Okay, that doesn't actually matter. Yeah, once once it actually gets shown to to people who haven't seen, the distorted version, it's gonna look totally normal. What are there, what are these prism effects? Okay. I really should use this on. See, we'll find a mix yo, of all different. I really need to use this on special effects projects. I need, to, I need to do something. I need to do more sci-fi. Okay, so there's our shot. We've decentered it. We're gonna put a transition here. We're gonna delete that. And we're gonna watch this. Okay. Right, so we're gonna pull that back to here. This back. Wait, now I need to do drop it dissolve in. Yep. So starting right about there. Honestly, there's part of me that thinks I might be able to actually find the real street here. But I wanna, I'm not going to push that. I think I was flying from a different direction. Yeah, I think I was flying across as opposed to... That cut's not bad, though. Actually, wow, that cut actually works really well. Let's put, it, let's put that dissolve in just to see how it, if it looks any better. Unless that cut might be just the way to go with it. Cool. We can at least start talking about homes. Okay. Important to show that everybody has pools. All right. That's yours. The homes here have been developed at different times. See, we'll find a mix of all different kinds of architecture, from capes and ranches to by levels, split levels, and some more modern build outs. Okay. This is my third video 
uh, no, third, fourth, fourth video for third video for Lisa specifically, fourth video with this company. Um, and you think at this point I would understand what different types of architecture are, but I do not. So, so, I'm actually, all right, so I do have some good shots down here of the houses. So this is ah GoPro stuff and shots of the nearby towns. Okay, and people doing stuff. Let's see. Okay, oh, also, ending shots. Let's see. This guy, and where's the other one? This guy. We've got two people here who have, uh, <laughs> have houses with, um, let's unlink all of that, get rid of all that camera audio that I don't need. Uh, I'm just going to disable it. There. Um, have houses with shark mailboxes. So I know that's going to be a, I know both of these are going to be ending moments. Stop moving. Get to the house and they kind of come over here and land on the on the mailbox. Can we talk? She talks about the. She also talks about the, about a tight knit community, and that's like again talking about this the the fun community, like the people that have, you know it's always fun to see people who have fun with their uh, with their town. It's always a good sign. Also, both of these, both the people who own these houses, when I was setting up the camera, came out and asked, you know, and, I, and asked what I was up to. And when I sold them, I was making this and was filming their mailbox for them, or filming their mailbox for this real estate company. They were all like, "That's totally awesome! Keep doing it." So, all right. So now we're gonna sit and watch Eric look at his phone for a bit while he figures out what these houses are. Different times. See, we'll find a mix of all different kinds of architecture. From capes and ranches to buy levels, split levels, and some more modern build outs. All right. I, I mean, I know what a ranch is. Ranch, I'm good on. Uh, let's see. Let's find out what a cape house is. Uh, cape house is an apartment complex in Jacksonville, Florida. Let's see. A full cape has an entrance door in the middle with a staircase immediately inside. Let's look at pictures. Apparently, it's uh, Cape House is originally from is originally Cape Cod style. Okay, so it's looking like looks like mostly one story. Okay, so you're t we're thinking honestly, this is kind of looking like classic. Yeah, you know, when I was a kid, like oh, draw a house, classic house. What you would draw, it's like. Most it's like one story with an attic. One, you know, it's not a, it's not an obviously two story house, but definitely has a staircase because it's got kind of the the main level of windows. Then you have the, you know, one floor that looks like wall, one floor that looks like roof with windows set up in the roof, and it's always an, it's always a slanted roof, slanting like, you know, back from the front. So the, yeah, you know, the 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 peak of the roof runs parallel to the road. Okay, so that's Cape. Uh, then there's Ranch. Let's look at let's say split level, buy level and split level, right? Capes and ranches to buy level. All right. Buy level house looks like what? Okay, cool. Yeah, they got those. I feel like buy level houses, for the most part, uh, at least to me, that looks like the ones that are. I mean, we're on a sh we're on a shoreline, so it looks like the ones that had to be raised up to avoid flooding. All right, Google's caught on that I'm searching houses. And then split levels look like two different houses. Perfect, okay, cool. So now we're gonna look at our houses and see what we like. So, time to start sorting. That's a person on a bike. All right, that's a cape. You know, I'm just gonna copy all of this stuff into, let's see, how much is this houses? That's houses, that's houses. That's shoreline. So this is all houses. I'm drop this into the rough cut so I can actually cut it apart and organize it my own way. Cool. Let's get rid of that space. Back to here. And I'll film some more stuff. Let's see. That's shoreline. Houses. That's when that's more. That's the shoreline. Here we got more houses. So this is all houses at this point. We're going to copy and we're going to paste. Cool. All right. So let's start sorting. Let's see. We learned this is a cape house. 
Oh, this is a bi level house because it's got that extra that kind of here's the house and here's the lip of it. So that's bi level. It's going on over here. Next. I think that's bi level. That might. Yeah, I think that's bi level. This is a ranch. That's a cape. Or that, that's that's also bi level. A lot of bi levels. Okay, so bi level and ranch. Good. She said capes and ranches, so I might be able to use that transition from the ranch to the cape. Or ranch, capes, ranches, bi level, split level. I can use that as my transition from ranch to bi level. That can work. So I'm going to put that first. Now, what else we got? What's this guy? That's also bi level. Kind of split. I'm going to put it over the buys. Uh, again, okay, again, panning over to the ranch. So let's put that over here. I'll pick which take I want to use. Another ranch. It's an okay ranch. But it's a ranch, so it starts here. Move these guys down a bit so I got space because I apparently got a lot of ranches. Uh, that's just shots of the water. Did a couple of those, didn't I? Yep, okay. I'm not sure I'm going to use those. Let's put them away. Uh, I'm going to count that. All right. Yeah, I'm going to count these as like more modern builds in the kind of the last category that she mentions. Because those are both kind of weird looking and I like them. What's this? Shoreline coming across to... Oh, we're coming back across to those two houses. Or just, just to that mansion? Yeah. Oh, no, we're going back over. I think technically that's a split level, but that's a really weird build. I'll put these both down here. Panning down from a cherry blossom. Which was just a gorgeous day. I think I'd probably call that split level. Somewhere between split level and modern build. Okay, so that's going to go here. Uh, I think I like the, first, the second take better. Oh, I did more. Jeez. Stop filming this fucking house, dude. It's just a house. Why did I do, why did I do three takes of this house? I'm not sure what to call that. That's theoretically that's kind. Mm, yeah, no, that's I can't not call that a modern build. Unfortunately, that's a it's a weird take on a cape. That's closer to a cape. I might use this one. Yeah, we're gonna use that shot. All right, so, that, so we'll start with that as a cape because I know I was gonna use that shot anyway, and this shot is. That's more of an ending shot, honestly. I'm gonna, cause it's just I got again got the American flag, got the flowers, gotta stabilize that shot. But okay, cool. So let's, thank you. Delete that. Let's take this one, put it back here with kind of my ending footage. I know it's gonna be somewhere. Paste. Oop. Undo. Now let's paste. Hey, what am I doing? There we go. Okay, you. Cut. And. Paste. There we go. That's better. All right. So let's pick our favorite. So that's 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 the cape. We're using that. Ranches. We got two shots of ranches. This one's okay. Maybe use it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep it here. But if I want, if I can only do one of each. That one's not doing anything for me. That's okay. That's that's a pretty shot of that's more of a pretty shot of just the the nature of the town. That could be a good like you know intro to another section, just in terms of the the beauty of the town itself, because the tree with the the blossoms on the ground and everything. And once I color correct that, it's gonna look fucking dope. But let's get rid of that shot. Okay. Yeah, this is my kind of my split level. And then we'll do these as the more. Which direction is that car going? Nope, can't edit that way. So that shot's not going to work. Delete that. I know I want to go from create from more normal looking house to crazy looking house. So let's land on this mansion. Put this. Come on, come on. 
one thing I have learned about this is even though we're doing a pretty slow pace, uh, we're not we're not doing a bunch of rapid cutting and it's not slow paced yet. We're not we're not Lars von Triering this. That'd be funny. I'd, I would love I would love to love to do some of these where it's like we're doing this is we're doing like a parody of one of these videos where we can do it as like an art film. Uh, and more modern builds. Land. Good. Uh, do as yeah, do as a parody of some kind of these these kind of videos. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to do one of these where it's like, you know, can can we do a whole town video in one take or? Can we do it as like, yeah, do it with like sad piano and black and white and it's all in the rain and just like, <laughs> come live here where all the brooding people go. Um, these two birds fighting and or mating in the front yard really made this video for me. Uh, this clip for me. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Excellent. So those are the modern builds. Um, but yeah, the, po the point I'm working on making, and then I'm going to jump back and make another point on my tangent, is uh, I like, is that even though we're not fast-paced, we always want to try to have as much movement as possible. We always want to have some kind of movement going on. Don't want to sit don't want to sit still for too long. I think the first of these is probably better. I think I'm going to start it right there. And we can come down and land here for a sec, and then we'll move on. That works. A couple more frames. Delete all that. Delete. Right, let's look at these clips. I think the second one's probably the one to go with. It was just it's faster, but more I'm looking for is a st steady movement. Which that does not have, but kind of intentionally. This is pretty smooth. That's pretty, I like this. Let me slow down for the ranch, that's fine. Though I can probably cheat this here if I just I'm just slow down. There. Right. Right. We are going to reverse this. Right about here. So right about there. I'm gonna try something. This might be a little bit gimmicky, but I'm gonna give it a shot if I take this and speed it up to 500%. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna pull that off. I gotta go faster. That stops there, right? At, okay, that actually might work. Right across the line of that house. Wrong direction, wrong car.
back and this like that. Up there, cool. Let's try this at 1000%. That might even be too slow. Yeah, we're gonna go faster. This is, of course is gonna skip a little bit for me. X looks pretty good. There we go. Alright, so we got our do some of the other shots we might use. Put this in here. I'm gonna sit here and hope that I didn't get the order wrong. Definitely longer than it need, needs to be. The homes here have been developed at different times. See what we've seen. Turn to that level of interface as well. Alright, so this shot of the rotating tire can start right about there. That's fine. Homes here have been developed at different times. See, we'll find a mix of all different kinds of architecture. Alright, so that would start kind of right here. From cates and ranches to buy levels, split levels. And some more modern build outs. Cates and ranches to from Cates and ranches. Yep, I do that. I want to make sure I want to make sure I'm cutting just the important stuff I want to cut. From Cates and ranches. Select that to cut. Cates and ranches. This is something that'll definitely be helped when I've got the music. I'm just playing a little bit now. Cates and ranches. We're gonna move. Move all of this stuff down so we got more space to work. And this is. 1,000% uh, a rough cut, which is kind of the point. More, more modern build. Above the hill. Yep, I do want to move this. All different kinds of architecture. Find a mix of all different kinds of architecture. From Cates and Ranch. From Cates and Ranches to buy level. To buy levels. To buy level split. Levels, split levels, split levels. I don't want to be cutting this down, but I'm putting it together for now. And some more modern build outs. And some more mo and some more modern build outs. Build outs. Modern build outs. Cool. Definitely too long, but a start. I'm happy with a start. All right, next section. Miles of waterfront property. You will find this lovely enclave of homes rich with history. Community with a great 
The vibe of The Hills is a tight-knit community with a great local shared garden, multiple parks and trails nearby, and a down-to-earth feeling of a small neighborhood. Okay. That's a good spot for this shot. Let's look at some of our park footage. Yeah, I don't know if that's in, oh, that's, yeah. That's, this is all houses, houses, houses. And that's me playing with clouds. Okay, come back to this. This is other towns. Yeah, there's me getting, yeah, we'll come back to that. That's, that's an ending section. Uh, that's school. What's this? What's with me filming American flags? This is the Cracker Barrel place. We'll come back to that. Not actually the not not the restaurant chain Cracker Barrel. This is a s individual restaurant called Crack called John's Cracker Barrel. This is a shot of Reed's. Okay. That's map stuff. Okay. Cool little shot of the Volunteer Park sign. Like that. This is I like that a little better. It's a little weirder, so we're gonna copy that in. We talk about parks. Parks and trails nearby. Is a tight knit community with a great This also is a nice if I if I use this shot to transition. The vibe from, of the hills is a tight. If I transition from just talking about the architecture to talking about uh, that's other shore town, so we'll come back to that. I do even want we mention the sunset, so this is going to be me trying to land that thing without crashing. One, that's the only shot I got, yeah. Jesus, the sunsets out there are pretty, pretty, pretty great. Alright. There's a setting on my drone to actually lock the the tilting gimbal to the same speed as the drone. I really need to actually use it because I hate when they move at different speeds. All right, copy. Uh, where's that fit? Expansive shoreline with boating. Club right on the water to take in the sunset. There we go. Paste. Cool. Town stuff that I'm not going to use. Parks. There's better park footage. Anyway, I'll talk shoreline that doesn't look good. Uh, yeah, I got better shots of the architecture. That's that same modern build out house, but just <laughs> when it's bright and colorful, it's supposed to. Oh, this house apparently has been resold. There's, they keep trying to sell it. Nobody wants to buy it because it's, it's been abandoned for years. Uh, disclaimer, do not go break into that house. Ooh, that's good. A couple good sunset moments there. Where's the shot I almost crashed on? I think, it is, I think it is this one. I think this is the shot I almost crashed on. Yep. Thank God for obstacle avoidance. I almost flew the drone into power wires. It's a good shot, though. Let's bring that up. Make sure that's a shot I notice. We mentioned the hospital. That's uh, right there. That's Jersey Shore Medical Center. Uh, that's a really good shot to use. I'm actually curious what this looks like. 
color grade. Give me a sec. We're going to save. Did I have a color grade adjustment layer made here? No, not yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring that in. Um, uh, I need to close out some of these things. Okay. We're going to close that panel. We're going we're gonna to close most of these panels. Footage is already in. Oh, I forgot there's some miscellaneous. I'm going to keep that for a sec. Tracker barrel stuff. Right? That, a lot of that in like black and white or something. Map. Parks. Yeah, that stuff's already imported. So let's go back to graphics. Adjustment layer. Again, let's switch to color. Skipping. Thank you, Premiere. All right, so if I was to apply, there's a couple different options here. There's this one. Okay, who on earth designed that? Let's go to much. Let's go to some of these guys. Let's go to this, this guy. That's better. That is even better. A little bit. Enough of that for now, and then we can adjust some colors. Some blues, not bad. I can click through a couple different ideas for overall looks. I actually like that a lot. I think bring, we're going to bring the whites down. Yeah, that highlights up and whites down gives me. I still get those clouds. And the other thing I can do with this that I always like to do is if I take if I do some keyframing here. A keyframe at one end, put another one at the other. So we're gonna this whole thing's gonna slowly zoom out. Looks like we're making making an even bigger move than we actually are. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, that's a, for a rough edit. That's not bad at all. Sweet. Okay, save. Switch back to main edit. Awesome. I'm supposed to be looking for park footage. That's all I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not doing that at the moment. Okay, that's the bridge. Also the bridge. Which, you know, cars and their insistence on driving a certain way is annoying. But this is actually going the wrong direction out of the town, I think. Am I? No, I'm not. That's actually the right way. Yeah, because that is right there in the corner is the Cracker Rail place. Sweet. Bring that up. That's, go that's pulling back. Let's go back across the bridge. I don't like that as much. Community gardens. Where's that park shot that I was losing my mind over? This one. That's the one. Uh, my only park shot with the drone. Probably the only one that looks really good. So let's go ahead and copy that. Uh, you know we're using that one. It's another one I'm going to fake a fake a camera move. Here, that starts moving around that point. Cool. So now we're going to do a quick both position and scale keyframe. Let's bring this into 150. We're going to move it over so we're kind of so we're centered. Let's come back to here, reset and reset. Right there. So now the movement, the move is going to look like this. Makes me look like I'm really makes me look like I'm really really good at what I do. So it's just being whatever I am. Or there we go. Yeah, it looks awesome. Cool. And we're gonna set these. 
control these in these two to temporal these out make that move nice and smooth love it okay that'll go well with the volunteer park vibe of the hills is a tight nick yeah this is the volunteer park shot Popping my microphone, that's not good. Let's drink. It's gonna wrap this up around around four, so about fifteen more minutes uh, going through here. I have uh <laughs> got the mystic crystal and my ninja sex party stuck in my head. I had it going on my, going on all day. All right. The vibe of the hills is a tight knit community with a great local shared garden, multiple parks and trails nearby, and a down to earth feeling of a small neighborhood. Cool. Okay. Save. So that's park. Park. Let's go back to here. See the other park stuff I've got. Let's, let's talk about the shared garden, which, man, did I pick the wrong time to, the wrong day to shoot that? Yeah, there was some stuff there. This stuff does not look appetizing. I feel bad. All right, it's gonna be these two shots. Copy and paste. I'm curious if this cut will work. So we copy and we're going to paste the attributes. So I'll need the motion. I just need the lens distortion fixed. Great local shared garden, multiple parks and trails. Great local shared garden. Multiple parks. The Hills is a tight knit community with a great local shared garden, multiple parks and trails nearby, and a down to earth feeling of a nearby, and a down to earth feeling of a small neighborhood. Beth, there was nothing just like there wasn't really wasn't much nearby. growing and a down to earth feeling not so much growing the day i was shooting so you end up with this but the fact that it's there parks is and cool. trails nearby and a down to earth feeling of a small i need to reverse the speed on this guy so like we're going forward then back parks and trails nearby yeah and that's much better we're sort parks of and in terms of the garden we're going kind of from the if you're on the ground uh, we're still, we're both kind of shooting this direction. Like, if that makes sense, we're looking, if that doesn't make any sense. Um, I know this because I know, I kind of know that if I, if the, if you imagine the garden is like a square, we're shooting from like the bottom left corner. Um, in this shot, we're kind of going bottom left to top right. Trails nearby. Uh, so here we should also, so yeah, in this shot, we're moving, we're technically garden wise, we're moving left to right. Multiple parks and trails nearby. This shot, we should also be doing the same, moving left to right. And even though, even though here we're just moving top to bottom, there's not you, there's not really a sense of left to right. The fact that these things are on angles and we're going Parks kind of counter to them. Trails nearby. I think this. I think it makes better. It, it feels Parks smoother. Parks and trails this way. nearby. Yeah. And a down to earth feeling of a small neighborhood. So 
this shot, we can definitely... Nope, we can keep the opacity up. We're just going to trim that back. Around there too long. Let's see. One, two, one, one, two. Yep. All right. I don't think that. Let me let me check my footage thing. I had miscellaneous f stuff in here for dogs. I don't think any of this ended up being ended up being usable. Maybe. One guy barking at me. I was swimming from a pretty good distance, and these dogs were not having. These dogs immediately honed in on me. Guy's tail wagon. Nah, he's in, he's he's not happy. He's in kind of defense mode there. This, this place has, this house, by the way, had like six golden retrievers. That moment actually might work. Let's zoom that in a bit. I was filming at 1080. 201. Nothing here. Is there anything else in this clip that's worth grabbing? This guy barking at me. We saw that. Okay. I'm filming trees, apparently. That's what I do here. Poppers. I always like having dogs in a video. Just because it triggers that happiness. And also, like, let's have dogs. Let's use them as the thumbnail. All right. Like what other shots I want to use for that? Thing. I don't want to try to. I don't rely too, too, too heavily on drone footage, though we do love drone footage. Any other shots of the park? I know I have them. I don't know if I want to use them or not. This, this might take a little bit. Of, this might take some some real effort to turn into an actual. Kind of a cool shot. I can't can't lie about that. Let's see that. Okay, let's see. to the kids play thing and play place cool save uh, as always the rule is put in too much for the rough cut because that's just how rough cuts work that shot didn't look good because that was around the power lines we don't like that overall it's all avoidable so let's copy that one Paste it in here as well. Slow as this might be. 
Let's do slow for speed diversion. Let's do this. That shot's a big maybe. That shot's an in there by necessity, if at all. We'll put it there for now. Local shared garden, multiple parks and trails nearby, and a down to earth feeling of a small neighborhood. Going back to its resort origins, there is still an expansive shoreline with boating, fishing, bird watching, swimming, and a renovated beach and yacht club right on the water to take in the sunset. So that's, I'm going to grab a sunset shot, and I think I'm going to call it a night. Got a couple good options here for sunsets. So I'll go with that one versus these guys. That's dodging power lines. This one is as well. Of the dock in there, I do really like that. That one is very pretty, and it has a bird. And I'm a big fan of having birds and stuff. This one's going down, so now let's go with this one. Copy. Stoop just once. Do that. This is pretty good. Hard to beat that. So both, these are both pretty great. I think I like the first one better. Okay, cool. We'll see what, see what we like. All right. I'm going to call it a night on this one. This project's going to keep going. I'm going to keep... My goal was, and still kind of is, to get some kind of a rough assembly for this thing done. Uh, probably without music at this point, but kind of a rough assembly of the whole thing. Um, done before the end of the month. So I've got a few more days. got like five more days to, to put it together. And I made, made a decent amount of progress tonight. Yeah, we just got three or four more sections to do. Uh Again, super rough, just some real basic stuff. But uh, it's coming together nicely. I've got the audio all sorted out. I kinda, community I'm starting to know what shots I want to use where. Uh, and I got some some moments that I think are really cool. Like this this cut here. The home. Really love that cut. And then I also, I'm still absolutely over the moon about this concept. Yeah, now that to me... Like that's that's probably thumbnail material once it gets you know color corrected and edited and everything. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But saving it again and gonna come back to me. So yeah, gonna call this a night. Um, thank you for for joining me on this. Thank you for giving me a reason to you know get up on my feet and talk about this. It helps me helps me get in the zone. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were this you know. Gave you, you know, gave you something, whether it was entertainment or uh, white noise or something to fall asleep to, <laughs> or maybe some, maybe it sparked something. Who knows? But anyway, thank you for joining. It it means the world to me uh, to be able to do this. Uh, one of the, you know, you have those have those moments of like the, you know, all of just evolution, all of like the, you know, going, you know, the fact that Earth is. Yeah, you know, the only planet in our solar system that can sustain life and just millions and millions of miles and uh, of space, uh, and you know somehow we created life. Somehow life got created in this space, and now, you know, a couple billion years later, I am able to, you know, I have harnessed that life and able in order to stream, uh, in order to show other people over the invisible uh, internet this, like. You know, pictures and videos that I took with a flying camera of other people's houses. I don't know. It's a... Uh, <laughs> uh, whatever that means, whether it is meaningful or meaningless, or we're doing something completely wrong, for this moment, I am grateful for it, because I got to do this with you. So, thank you. Have a good night. Be safe. Create good art. Um, and, yeah, the... Whatever you're, you know, what it, like... 
I I said at the beginning I do this because I need to because I try to share the um you know because sharing my work is the thing that I I struggle with um and just if you're watching like whatever you're struggling with you can do it there's ways to make it happen there's ways to 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 get through it and to to put yourself out there in and and put out your best put you know put out your your best self out there so yes whatever you're struggling with you can make it on that note good night and be safe and be awesome because deep down you are <laughs> all right i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna get hit the closing good night